The quick answer to how does this pressing sound is that from my copies, yes you heard me right, I've tested two of these, is that they both sounded very good. I don't have all that much to bring up in a more in-depth sound review as there really wasn't much to highlight as a negative. The Puffin gave a very conservative grading of lows of B with highs of A and spent most of the time around B+. Interestingly, this occurred on both copies of this pressing. And as always, the magic setting was turned off throughout the listening tests. As you can see, I have the numbered Asai Records edition of this pressing, which comes with the lovely Obi strip. I'm a total sucker for Obi strips ever since I started buying Japanese records, and Asai have totally latched onto a great niche that will send me back for them for future releases. It does make me wonder what the Japanese says, if it's even real Japanese. It could say Ligma Balls for all I know. <laughs> that would be funny to be fair. Okay, getting back on track. What I like about this record also is that it comes with a good cover sleeve with the sticker on it and the barcode is attached to that. And I much prefer this to the barcode being on the record cover itself. Also, it's not shrink wrapped either, which is better for the lifespan of the record. A pro tip, people, don't leave your records in shrink wrap. The clue is in the name. As for the cover, it looks like Matty doing some kind of odd pose there. It's the first time there's a person on a 1975 cover, and we're going with the black and white theme again, which the band used a lot during the era of their debut. On the back, we have a deep blue with a single white line running across the center. It's minimal, but very bold with the white text. I like the serif fonts that they use here too. I like on the inner sleeves, the white and blue color scheme is flipped, which follows through to the labels, which are also alternated in color scheme. As this is under 50 minutes long, all songs fit across two sides, which is a first for the band as all their previous records span four sides. There is also the lyric sheet, which is nicely laid out. Unfortunately, the quality of the print of this sheet is very thin and prone to bending, as seen here. Note that the anti-static sleeve you can see here was added by me as always when one is absent from the release. All around the outer edges of the record is smooth and cut very neatly. The white is also very consistent, there's no mix of colours or stains to be found either. These are all very good signs of a pressing that has had good quality control it seems, at least from the two that I've had my hands on. And to summarise, it's a very good release in my book. The sound quality is very good and consistent, the design is good, it's got decent packaging, if a little weak in places with the lack of anti-static protection and the weak lyric sheet material, but overall this is a very nice pressing and I am very happy with it and I think that you should be confident if you are also on the market for this. Big shout out to this legend for letting me know about it before it sold out, saved me about three times the money.